from the latest legislation. <laughs> series encounter 233 encounter 233 um my prayer for you today is that the lord will be with you the lord will guide you the lord will protect you um i want us to pray and so heavenly father we thank you we bless your name for this moment for the encounter series uh 232 233 that we are going into father lord from the beginning to the end father lord we cover this program with the blood of jesus be our alpha be our omega be our beginning be our end oh lord direct us as we start this program oh lord start with us and end with us, O oh Lord, so that your name will be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Um, if you are still not, if you have not joined us on uh, Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, please fasten up and uh, join us, join us, join us. Please share this program as well. If you are watching on Facebook, please share, share, share 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 please so that the message can go to as many as many as many please share god bless you as you share in jesus name 
So today, <clears throat> I want to uh, thank you for joining us. And I want you to know that the Lord is still saying something in in as much that the Lord, the Lord liveth is a merciful God. In as much that the Lord liveth is a glorious God. Our God is still saying something concerning every situation. Every situation. Every situation. Uh, we just want to let you know that um, no matter what you are going through, the Lord is good. No matter what you are facing, the Lord is good. No matter what you, your circumstances is, the Lord is good. Just prophesy to yourself and say the Lord is good. So um, if you're joining us for the first time, I please want you to um, just DM us so that we can reach out to you. All right? DM so we can reach out to you. Um, I want us to begin to look into what God has said in the scriptures. Today's message is tag, go forward and make progress. Somebody say, go forward and make progress. Go forward and make progress. Before you can proceed to make progress, the, 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 there is something very important that the Lord uh, has, has established in the scriptures. The Lord has established that you confess. You humble yourself before the Lord and you confess your sins. You humble yourself before the Lord and you confess your sin. Beloved, go forward and make progress. How do you make progress? If you have not seen or reflect on where you are at the moment. And one of the things that reflection brings is it brings sober, it bring, makes you sober and it makes you confess your inequalities, inadequacies. Sorry. So, one of the ways to humble yourself to, to God is to confess your sin. That means you are ready to turn a new leaf. That means you are ready to move forward. That means you are ready to make progress. Hallelujah. So if you, uh, some of us, we still, we still say we are born again, we are Christians, but our, we, we have pride. We don't see, we don't see the essence of we don't see confession as one of those areas that we need to deal with. Let's look into the book of Exodus. Exodus. Uh, let's look at Exodus 14. Exodus 14. Exodus 14, let's look at uh, verse, uh, let's take it from verse 14 to Exodus 14, verse 14. It says, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Now, let's go to that 15. It says, then the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out of me? Tell the Israelites to move on. Move on. This is what the Lord said to Moses. See, just like we are, we are treating this topic, go forward and make progress. The Lord said to Moses, now why are you crying? A lot of us, we are in a situation. 
where we are is no way out and we are just instead of us to look to the altar and the finisher of our faith we stand still and we start crying just like Moses did here then it's the Lord say Moses should tell the Israelites to move on he say raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea. You see, that is power of Jehovah. Confession. You know, why are you crying out of me? Moses seek the face of the Lord. Moses confess that Jesus is Lord. Moses confess that God is God is omnipotent. He confess his sovereignty and he receive a revelation. Hallelujah. And the Lord said to Moses, why do you cry to me? Tell, you know, tell, tell them to go forward. You know, let's look at that Exodus 14 from verse 13. It says, Moses answered the people, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring to you today. The Egyptian you see today, you will see, never see again. It is confession. He is confessing the power of Jehovah. How many of us are in a tribulation and we cannot even, we, do, we, we have really forgotten that the Lord we serve is sovereign. The Lord we serve is all in all. The Lord we serve is mighty. You know, so an example of this, of the power of Jehovah, is what you see in that book of Exodus, where God himself showed that he is almighty. Beloved, I would like you to know that God is still the same yesterday today and forever he's still doing wonders still doing wonders you know man is destined by nature to make progress when you look at when you look at when we talk about going forward and making progress man is destined to make progress i was telling someone today he said oh it's because he was into something he went somewhere that is why his prayer was answered no Man is destined. I mean, we don't let's deceive ourselves. He, he, he said, he said, he saw that everything he created was beautiful. If man is not beautiful, if his destiny is not beautiful, Lord, God would not say that. God would not have said that. He wouldn't have. But the Lord is saying to you. That he made everything beautiful. So what else do you want? Someone said, oh, because he laid hands on me. Yes, he lays hands on you. I'm not disputing the power of Jehovah or the anointing. But the fact remains that you are destined by nature to make progress. This is not a platform where we tweak the Bible. Or we permute it and combinate it to make it sweeter. It's real. It says, man is destined by nature to make progress. That is why it is difficult to hold on to uh, a man's destiny. Some people do it. They will say, you heard my destiny. But leave, listen. If you believe in the power of Jehovah, no one can hold your destiny. So when you look at that pandemic, 
during the pandemic. The, the, I mean, the lockdown was so difficult. The lockdown and shutdown occasioned by the global by global pandemic. You no, know, everyone and everything on earth was shut down. It was a standstill. You no, know, it wrecked so much physical, economy, and mental, uh, 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 social ent enterprise. And a lot of people were shouting, Oh, how are we going to make it? How are we going to do it? How what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. And the, even the affected some people mentally, a lot of people died. But lo and behold, I want you to know that that moment was a devastating moment for every young generation. But I assure you today that no matter the storm going your way, no matter the storm going on in our economy, no matter the storm, no matter the storm, you will be, you will receive healing. You will receive breakthrough. So freedom of movement is very crucial. That was at that stage I knew that <laughs> a lot is going on in the lives of so many. Hallelujah. So what is progress? When we talk about progress, what do we mean by progress? A movement towards a goal, a dream, or to a further or higher stage. It seems like some way we talk about advancement, growth, continuous improvement, to grow or develop, onward movement. You know, progress means increase. When you're progressing, we talk about increase. You know, great tides or, you know, giants, name it, achievement. You know? So, it means to go forward in space, in time, you know, which the opposite of progress is regress. No? Retrogress or backwardness. So, this year, beloved, I break the yoke of retrogression in your life in the name of Jesus and I release you into a glorious future in the name of Jesus I release you if you are stagnant before and you think oh you are just in one way one place I want to br I bring good news to you now that you will never be remain the same in the name of Jesus. That this year I broke the yoke of retrogression. No, the yoke of backwardness, the yoke of stagnancy. I break it in your life right now in the name of Jesus. And I release unto you a glorious future, a glorious power a glorious success that will change your life around in the name of Jesus. So God's love for man is to make progress. Trust me. When he created you, when you were born, he has already destined you to make progress. No. To make progress in life is very important to God. How do I know this? Let's look at the book of Jeremiah 29. Jeremiah 29. The book of Jeremiah 29 um, verse uh, let's look at, let's take it from verse 11. It said to give the only way 
the only way For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plan to give you hope and future. And the only way, look at this. The, I'm, I want to tell you this, the interpretation of that. The only way to enter the future. The, the future that God has plans to give you is to advance progressively. That's the only way. He says in that Jeremiah, he said, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Amen. Plus to give you hope and a future. God has plans for you. He wants you to progress. He wants success for you. He wants you to, 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 to get to the greater height. No, he wants you to expand. He wants you to, you know, progress in every sphere. So why are you limiting yourself? If you have sinned, confess your sin. If you are, if you are, if you are somebody who have, who doesn't forgive, begin to forgive, so that these promises, this progress that the Lord has destined for your life will come to manifestation. And I pray that the Lord will see you through in Jesus' name, beloved. Our God is good. Our God is good. He says, I, I know, I know, for I know the plans I have for you. He declared it. He didn't just say it, he declared it. And when he says something, he never take back his words. I wish you know this God well. I wish you know. I remember one day I was um, evangelizing and somebody asked me this question. He said, how do you know the Lord is good? And I answered that question with one answer. I said, because you are breathing. And he said, yeah, if I, was if I am breathing, does that mean the Lord? And I said, yes. Is it by your power that you are breathing? He said, no. Is it by your strength that you are walking? He said, no. And is it by your power that you can wake up this morning, dress up, and be here today? He said, oh, no. Uh, but, I mean, it's natural. I said, it's not natural. Somebody made it happen. All right? And I gave him the scriptures. Blah, blah, blah. Go and read Genesis. Go and read this. Go and read that. Go and read that. But beloved, see how man reason. Man can reason anyhow. Man can reason anyhow. It is my uh, privilege to introduce to you the one that can heal you, Jesus. The one that can see you through your predicament, Jesus. The one that can see you, your reproach, Jesus. Beloved, don't give up. God has a plan for you. And the only way to get into that future where God has planned for you is to advance progressively says because for i know the plan i have for you let's look at the book of first samuel 10 first samuel 10 first samuel verse 10 um let's take it from verse 3 uh, so first samuel chapter 10 he said then you will go on 
from there until you reach the great tree of Tabor. The great tree of Tabor. You know, three men going up to worship God at Bethel. We'll meet you there. One will be carrying three young goats, another three loaves of bread, and another a skin of wine. He said, then you will go on from there until you reach the great tree. How many of you are still walking today and you have not gotten to that great tree and you want testimony? I pray for you today that the Lord will take you to that point of your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I pray for you today that the Lord will position you at the right place that will make the devil say, wow, I pray for you today that the Lord will bestow upon you a supernatural breakthrough that you can ever imagine. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you today that you will get to that destination where the demand and the supply will meet each other for your own good in the name of Jesus. I remember when we were studying economics and they said the, 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 the equilibrium point is the point where the quantity demand is equal to the quantity supply. Why you are still working without no result today is because the demand and the supply has not met. If the demand and supply meet in your life, you will see your breakthrough. You will have something that someone needs and you are giving and you are taking. It is when you don't have anything to offer or you are not useful to, for anything or you don't see, they don't see your importance in something. That is when you don't progress. When we talk about United Kingdom, as a nation. Definitely, the United Kingdom is rated because they have a lot to give. People come all over the world into the United Kingdom. People come all over the world to the United States. Why? 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 Because you have something to give. You will be relevant in the name of Jesus. I pray for your destiny. So, beloved, move forward and progress. So, when the children of Israel left Egypt for the promised land, you all know that story, they got to that Red Sea and going forward seemed very impossible. They, don't, they, don't, they can never imagine what God can do. Going forward was very, very, very impossible. Impossible. Nobody would have thought or felt that there is there, 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 somebody can create a way in the, in the pathway of the sea. That is the mystery of God. But God's plan, God's plan do not answer or bow to impossibility. Beloved, it doesn't plan, no, it doesn't bow to any impossibility. There is no impossibility in his matters. He makes things happen. I pray for you today. Is that is there anything that the devil says is not going to be possible? Is there anything you desire for good that the, 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 it keeps becoming difficult? There will be possibility for you in the name of Jesus. There will be breakthrough for you in the name of Jesus. As I decree tonight, you will succeed in the name of Jesus. At the power of the Holy Spirit, I pray that you will succeed in the name of Jesus. By the power of our God Almighty, I pray for your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. It will never be tomorrow. From today, you will experience the supernatural 
gift and power of Jehovah in your life in the name of Jesus. Beloved, our God is still saying something. Who is he that becomes a mountain in your life? Who is he that becomes a reproach in your life? What is it that becomes your sadness? I decree today by the power of the Holy Spirit that they shall bow in the name of Jesus. Is there anyone somewhere, somehow, bringing you down? The mo the, uh, 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 we're saying denigrating things about you or condescending, condescending things about you. I pray that they will bow in the name of Jesus. That mountain, the mountain of financial financial uh, 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 breakdown or the mountain of barrenness or the mountain of uh, sickness, I bring them down in your life in the name of Jesus. They will bow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. There is somebody, there is somebody who is, you have a court case. You have a court case coming up. You have a court case coming up. The Lord said I should let you know that it is settled. The Lord said I should tell you that it is settled. Because as we're talking, the Lord is working it out for you. In the name of Jesus. There's someone watching me. You have been healed. But this sickness is paramount. And you are not telling anyone. You know, you know that you know what the doctor has told you. You know what the doctor has told you. The Lord said, I should tell you that you are healed spiritually in the name of Jesus. And this will manifest in the physical very soon. That you should go and do more tests after some time and you will see that that sickness is gone. I pray for you as the Lord has said, I don't know who, I don't know what you are going through, but the Lord said He's going to heal you. He started working on your healing. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord said you should continue to pray and thanking Him for what He has done. This is not by your power, but by the power of the Jehovah. Hallelujah. So I don't want to know what you are going through. I know the healer, and he will heal you in the name of Jesus. And uh, before we go, let's uh, look into one more verse of the Bible. No. As I was saying, you don't, you don't know. You don't know. The Israelites, the, the Israelites wouldn't have known that there is, a, there is a way out. If you look at that Jeremiah 32, Jeremiah 32 and in the book of Luke first. Just look at Jeremiah 32 first. Jeremiah 32 verse 27. Jeremiah 32 verse 27. I am the Lord, the God of all my kind. Is anything too hard for me? He's asking you. Is anything too hard for God? If you look at that Bible verse further, it's giving you an open check. If you are still contemplating, paraventure, you are doubting. Or paraventure, you still think, ah, this God, ah, there is too much mouth. He says something. He said, therefore, this is what the Lord says. I am about to give this city into the hands of the Babylonians. 
and Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. Who will capture it? Is there any city roaring around you that becomes a reproach? It will be captured in the name of Jesus. He said the Babylonian who are capturing the city will set it on fire. You see, if there is anything in your life becoming a, a, a Goliath in your life, the Lord will send those Babylonians to them. They will burn it with fire in the name of Jesus. And they will burn it down. I pray for you that the the, the 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 enemy you see today you will see them no more you will see them no more in the name of jesus so i am the lord the god of all mankind is there anything too hard for me to do my hands are not short to to save you that's what the bible says Beloved, I, I am so passionate about this. I want you to know that God will always be beside you. God will always be beside you because he's a faithful God. In that book of uh, Luke chapter 1, he says, let's look at it together which is our last Bible verse for today. Luke chapter 1. Many have undertaken a draw up an account of things that have been, filled, have been fulfilled among us. Let's look at the uh, verse 37. Let's look at verse 37. Luke 1 verse 37. It says, For no word from God will ever fail. For no word from God will ever fail. How about that? Beloved, God will say it and he will do it. That's why I love that song so much. God is able to do just what he says he will do he's gonna fulfill every promise to you don't give up on god because he won't give up on you he's able he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above what you can imagine so go and go forward. Move forward. See the essence of God's glory in your life. You know, this year, God is telling you to go forward. To, no, no, to spite off all your obstacles. Stop fidgeting. Stop fear, being fearful. Go and go forward. Move forward. Strike. Whatever you need to do, get it done. Have you achieved in this year, 2024? No. There's still time. Be strong in your faith. Because God will never fail you. He's too faithful to fail you, beloved. So spite of your, your obstacles and challenges, in spite of the challenges of, of the, I mean, what is going on in this world, eh, you can still go forward. Oh, some will say, oh, it was my daddy that didn't do something that made this thing happen. It was my brother that did something that made this thing happen. No. Move forward. And as you do so, the Lord Almighty will be with you in Jesus' name. You know, you can rise. You can shine. You can win the race. You can win it. 
No. You can win the race set before you. You can be a solution. You can be a solution of uh, any, 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 any obstacle. You know? You can rise above the tides. Eh? There is an advantage in every adversity. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of that reproach. Take advantage of that predicament. Are you barren? Take advantage of it. Get closer to God. Speak to God just like Anna did. Anna did not consider his problem, a problem. She get closer to God. She communicate with God. She spoke to God. I heard somebody say, I, I didn't go to church because I didn't have money. You are a fool. You are a fool. The reason why I said that is, did the Lord is he asking you for money? Like I said, I remember those days we walked to church. Our church is far, we will still walk. It's ready, we will still go there. You have to serve the Lord with all your heart. So take advantage of that adversity. When physical problem comes, no? Many ideas, creativity, and visions begin to flow. No? We have heard of many, many people saying uh, they, they, they are more prosperous during the COVID. Yes. Because they took advantage of it. I remember this program, Encounter Series, started during the, during the COVID. Everybody was home and there was nothing to do and uh, we can't go out and the Lord spoke to me in the night, around June of that year, that you can use this opportunity to propagate me. I have, I have blessed you already. And I woke up, I said, who is talking to me? And I realized that it was the Holy Spirit that is ministering to my heart. Ah, And I said, where do I start from? And the Holy Spirit gave me the wisdom again. He said, put things together and you have a studio. Start using it to pray to, to bless me every, every week. And lo and behold, this is the encounter 233. God has been faithful. Who does that? We have only 52 weeks in a year. So that means we have done 52 times 2. That is 104. That means we have done four years now or three years. Beloved, make God your friend. Let us pray. Make God your friend. Let us pray. I want you to pray some prayer points. Yeah? This prayer point. This prayer point, I want you to I want you to start praising God. You know, your God for is the creator of heaven and earth. Begin to pray that tidy thank you. Begin to thank God. Praise God. Thank God. Thank God for is the creator of heaven and earth. He has created this heaven and earth. He has created this earth for us to rejoice, to live. Oh, is the creator. God, just thank God for his, for for being for being the creator. Just thank God for your life. Thank God for being a beneficiary of the, that creator. Thank God for be, being a being a, a being one of those that will benefit from the world, the head that He has created. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you glory. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord, for, for, for you are a creator. You are, you are the creator and you have brought us to this limelight. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Then we're going to pray that, bless the name of the Lord, the doer of wonders without numbers. Is the doer of numbers, no wonders. He does so many wonders and he's the, 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 no, no, you're accountable. So begin to thank God for what he has done. Abba Father, Abba Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for what you have done. Oh, Lord, we thank you. We bless your name. 
You are the doer of all wonders. You've done so many wonderful things in our lives. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. We bless your name in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen, amen. Now, I want you to bless the Lord, your rock. Who makes a way where there seems to be no way? No, he is your rock. When we say rock, someone that you can lean on. Someone you can, you know, in terms of trouble, he will be there. You can lean on him. You can lean on that rock, the solid rock that could never shake, that will never shake. Oh, Lord, thank, just begin to bless that rock. 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 Our Father will bless you. 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 We give you glory. Magnify you. We thank you, Lord, because you are our rock. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, thank you, say Father, for the progress you enable me to make last the last year, this year. Thank God for it. Thank God for it. Thank God for it. That's why all of the good. I thank you, Lord. 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 Thank God because He's your way maker. He's your way maker. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being a way maker. He has created way where there's no way. He makes way for you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Beloved, you are still praying. Say, Father, I come to you in humility. I come to you in humility. Forgive my sins and those of my nation in the name of Jesus. Abba, forgive my sins, O oh Lord. Forgive my sins and my nature, O oh Lord. Heal our land in the name of Jesus. Heal our land in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, forgive our sins in the name of Jesus. Forgive our sins in the name of Jesus. Forgive our sins in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, heal our land. 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 Heal our land, 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 heal our land. And so, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now, I want you to pray this prayer. Every hold of negative past upon my life, every hold of negative past upon my life, break today in the name of Jesus. Every hold of the negative past in my life. Is there anything that is going on negatively in the past that has gone on that wants to reflect or that wants to come back? To, oh, Lord, heal or break in the name of Jesus. Break it today in the name of Jesus. Have a father, every hold of negative past in my life. I break it right now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Beloved, we are still praying. Say, let every fear of failure, every fear of failure melt away from my life in Jesus' name. Let every fear of failure melt away from my life in the name of Jesus. Let every fear of failure melt away from my life. Let every fear of failure melt away from my life in the name of Jesus. Let every fear of failure melt. Let it fail. Anything that can cause fear, oh Lord, let it melt. Let it go in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let it go in the name of Jesus. Every, every, every fear of failure in my life, let it go. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, you pray one more prayer. This two more prayer. The power that have held me bound in the same spot. You know, I was talking about stagnancy. So any power that has held me in, on the same spot, I break it right now in the name of Jesus. Break your hold now in the name of Jesus. Every power that has held me bound, every power that has held me bound on the same spot, I destroy you right now in the name of Jesus. I destroy you right now in the name of Jesus. I destroy you right now in the name of Jesus. I destroy you right now in the name of Jesus. I destroy you right now in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Oh Lord, now this last prayer, I want us to all to pray. Pray it. I command the power of aborting good things in my life. I command any power that will make me abort good, abort good things in my life to give up on me and give up the ghost in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, every power that is aborting good things in my life. Oh Lord, I have bought it right now. I command it right now to live my life in the name of Jesus. And so I will be free to give up on me. Oh Lord, any power that will make me to abort good things in my life to so give up on me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, 
We have prayed. Amen. And so, Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. We want to bless your name. We want to glorify you for your faithfulness, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for answering prayers. As we have prayed, O oh Lord, let all our prayers and supplications be accepted unto you in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, every prayer point we have prayed today, O oh Lord, that we pray that it will be accepted unto you. Those, O oh Lord, you will never, none of your words will never go back unto you. You have said it and you will do it. Abba Father, we pray, O oh Lord, as you have said, we have, we have, we have, we have, we have, we have uh, discussed your word and preach your word tonight. O oh Lord, your yeah, words will be good. We come, we will become a, a healing. We will become healing to as many as you have ordained to be a partaker. Oh Lord, that tonight we shall receive your extraordinary power, a supernatural power in the name of Jesus. And there shall be testimony and all glory will be unto you. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you glory. I commit myself unto you, O Lord. O Lord, every aspect of my life, O Lord, I cover it with the blood of Jesus. O Lord, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus as I have been a vessel to bless others tonight. O Lord, on the last day, I will not be found wanted. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, 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 amen. Shall we? So remember, every Wednesday we meet on this platform from 7 to 8. 7 to 8 on this platform every Wednesday. Next week is another week. Please join us on uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Zoom. If you don't have the Zoom link, DM me and I can send it to you. Um, God bless you. Really good my prayer. Shall we share the grace? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, the Lord's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Please be on time next week and as you do so the lord will bless you in jesus name a door Amen. supervisor license will Amen. mean you end up just working on the doors of a pub or club right that belongs to jesus give him all the glory i said it belongs to jesus give him all the glory i love you lord for your mercy never fails.